desde las cuevas oscuras. You are now tuned in to Negro Locuro. Y el primer tema es el siguiente. It's a bit sensitive. Um, NYPD, two NYPD cops have been allegedly accused of raping an 18-year-old at the parking lot of a Chipotle. Wow. Um, en el cual, en el cual, they say it was consensual sex. Okay. Pero la chamaquita estaba in handcuff and was in for a position of marijuana. Thoughts, concerns, comments. How do you get to Chipotle? <laughs> okay, so lo que sucedió fue lo siguiente. So, la, no, That's for real. That's what I figured out. So, check, check out lo que sucedió. So, they, um, they, uh, they grabbed the girl for a position of marijuana. She had um, marijuana and... At Chipotle? No, 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 no. Um, at um, Bay Town Beach, I think it was. So, so we're at a different def yes, destination. Yes, right exactly. Now. So, check out asunto. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> she's, um, she's handcuffed for the position of marijuana, right? Um, and in this, she's thrown into a van. She is driven now. A van? Yes, a van. So, a police, a police van. A police, okay, van, okay. A police van. She is driven to a Chipotle parking lot in in which she is now, according to the police officer's story, uh -huh. consensual sex. She is currently naked because they stripped her down. Hold on. So, so these officers are on duty. Right? Yes, they are narcotics. They're narcotics. Okay. Um, and she is um completely naked. Okay. Handcuffed. But somehow they said it was consensual sex. So my question to you is, what are your thoughts? What are your concerns? What are your questions about this entire scenario? <laughs> Oof, there's so much. There's you know what's sad is that they'll probably get away with this shit. So this is so this is this is the thing. This is the thing. I feel like situations like this, like just think about it. They they are the law enforcers. Being that they are the law enforcers, they know everybody in the system. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The sergeant was trying to cover it up. So, the question really is, is even three years good enough? Because that's the minimum time they're going to serve. Or is 25 good enough? That's the max they're going to serve. They should be treated like a regular person at this point. Or even worse. No, no, no. This is a regular person. A regular person, that's what you get. You get, you get a minimum of three, or you get a minimum of, uh, maximum of 25. But my thing is, like, is that good enough? And the thing is, like, was it really... Do you, do you believe it's consensual sex? Why or why not? I mean... It's just, things are just added up. They arrest at one place, they end up in Chipotle. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm trying to figure hungry. that out, why they were hungry. <laughs> like, it's, and so, that's the thing. So, yeah. now, so now they're taking consideration, like, okay. this could also be considered kidnapping. Yeah, exactly. You know what exactly. I mean? like, you, it's true. What? You took it with all her will to a place that she did not know of. And um, I think one of them, uh, what's, what's the, one of them raped, and then the other one, I think we see, both of them received oral. So, a, what are you I, going with? I don't know, I mean, maybe she was afraid. Maybe she agreed to something that she didn't want to. Because of the situation that she was in? Because of the situ situation, maybe a deal was proposed. I don't know. You know, we weren't there. Why weren't they wearing body cams? Don't, don't, aren't officers... Well, even even so, so so I think I think narcotics don't walk around with body cams. Okay, and okay please, if somebody okay. if somebody knows, that please correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. But even so, because like, don't you, I feel like all these cops just walk around like, okay, I got a body cam and what? I'm going to show it to my sergeant and be like, yo, man, I got this and this. Not to know what right, I. So, you know what I mean? So It depends, bro. What do you think is going to happen? Do you, do you think they're convicted? Why or why not? I mean, I, I think the way society's pressing on the police right now, I think they definitely don't want to anger anybody right now. What do you mean? Like, create any riots, create any, any bad media. Okay. Because it, it'll happen. You know there's gonna be protesters when things go the wrong way, when they seem innocent when they're really not to the to the public to the public, and they and when the public feels like they're treated they treat it higher than us in a sense yes. like they feel like they, they they could just do as they please exactly. Jason, I feel like they're probably end up getting away with it for some reason. Like why, they why, in, why do you they, think that? They've gotten away with so many other shit that's been... I mean, this is bad, but they've killed people and gotten away with it. So, they're turning themselves in, supposedly. So, they'll probably get a slap <laughs> on the wrist and like uh, probably probably get fired and leave it at that. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's such a different situation, you know? This this time, a person's not dead. This time, this person could say their side of the story. You know what I mean? So, this, this situation is a lot stickier, I think, for what the image of officers should be. Because why would they agree to have, you know, intercourse with a female while they're on duty. 
when they should be protecting and looking for other narcotics. Right? I feel like if it was the girl, she should have just bit this nigga's dick off and kept it moving. <laughs> no, but, but the thing is, just think about it. But it's three guys. It's two of them. It's two of them. You, but you let, think about it. Son sapie. Dos y pico de libra. Almao. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. Una de 18, 100 libra moja. Oof. Like, you know what I mean? Handcuff. What wouldn't you agree to? I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just yeah. because of the, situ- the situation that you find yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. what wouldn't you agree to? And we're saying agree to, to kind of, kind of, sort of agree to what they're saying. Listen, at the end of the day, they were on duty. They should have been doing it that. Regardless Actually. if they're right or wrong. So, they have to face repercussion for that, at least. You know, and that shouldn't be that shouldn't be held lightly. But so like, so you still not held lightly. So do you think three years is good enough? Do you think twenty five is good enough? I don't know. I mean, it 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 all depends on their growth. It's just like you throw a, a, a kitten into a a, a a zoo. You know what I mean? Or 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 actual jungle. Now they have to live through this life. Now they have to get accustomed to it. what they rather do. Would they rather be free or they rather be in there? You know what I mean? So they, they, they correct their act. Maybe 25 years is their sentence, but what if they get up good behavior? You know what I mean? True. I didn't take, I didn't take that in consideration. I mean, at this point, they should. They got two cases on the hand. They got rape and kidnapping. So whatever the mixture of that, that's what they should honestly serve. So. I don't know. I just, I, just, I just don't feel like... I just feel like the word officer should be... Like when they're, when they're being sentenced, they should be sentenced as, as individuals. And the crime is based because they were doing something wrong as officers. Do you think they sh- the weight should be heavier? I mean, yeah, they shouldn't be officers anymore. I think that, that that's one. That's a big hit. That's for sure. Okay. That, that, that's a big. But my hit. thing is that is yeah, that like hit big enough? It could be. That's your income. You have a family to feed, maybe. You just scarred them for life, though. What, what, what are they? That's just what I'm trying. To, that's what I'm trying to get. At. Like you know what I mean? Like you just scarred somebody's life. Forever. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. You know? No, I, I, I know you score somebody like, but what I'm saying is like, what should happen just as like the minimum. Like when you say like, what is enough and what isn't enough? Like they should get, if if they're going to get repercussion for something, like take away the job, take away who they were because they did something wrong as an officer. They misrepresented what an officer should represent. Okay. Now, lastly, if they do, if they do get, well, if they do get sentenced, because you know we don't know yet. If they do get sentenced, what do you think about their welcoming in jail? And it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> they better get That's ready. That's definitely not gonna be pretty. I mean, they know it. They they they, they know it. They're big guys, so they better get ready. But then again, they'll, they'll probably end up getting locked up and not be a part of everybody else. They'll probably have them separated. It depends, yeah. So, but see, but see then, then then that's the thing. Like, are you now still being treated as an officer? I don't know. You, you, you understand what I'm trying to say? It depends because... Because like, if, it's anybody so, else, if it's anybody else, you're thrown into the jungle. Yeah, exactly. So, you're but, thrown into but, the but, jungle. But, but think, protect them because yeah. there are officers that probably won't... They're not going to throw them into but the jungle. Think, but think about like, this. Think about if, if an officer, let's say a good officer, who abides by his law, but who respects his badge, who does what an officer is supposed to do, and sees that and he's disgusted as an individual, and let's say he's in charge that night, how do you think he's going to feel? What do you think he, he would do? That's different because now you know? got to think about his job, though. So he yeah, so, I know. So, I don't know. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying that they're not going to do anything. I'm just saying they might just let him be. They might just yeah. let whatever happened happen. That's what I'm saying. Because they already... I, 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 this, this, this is my thing. Like, um, I'm, I'm not a believer of the um, an eye for an eye. What is it? An eye for an eye? Uh, uh, an eye for an eye. Um, yes. Yeah, that's, that's it's it. a memo dicho. We know, <laughs> you know you know what you're talking about. I'm not believing that, but in a situation like two this, you Oh, no, for no. Yeah, but in a situation like this, it's kind of like, yo, like, the only way you think it'd be equal or kind of like uh, appropriate um, delivery of uh, pain of, in like, scarring to somebody who committed that would be... I mean, yeah, but... Drop the soap. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, you know what I mean? Because I, my thing is, like, you you now, like... You feel you, like they should No, be it's not even that. Man. Uh-huh. You really just took this young lady's life. Because, yes, she's alive. Yes, she's alive. But she's scarred. But she now needs to live her life like this. Mm-hmm. The haunting of being in a van with two cops armed, six-something, 200 pounds, 
Every time she sees somebody who sees something, she's gonna have a flashback. Every time she sees a cop. Every time she sees a cop, now she don't feel safe. Nah, true. You know what I mean? And what, you two are good? Because y'all under some protective custody or some shit? You know what I mean? I just feel like that. Whether they get locked up, I still... In jail, they're gonna be protected. They're not gonna throw them in the jungle. I, I, I think they know. deserve... That's what I, I did, do I think they deserve... celebrities. I don't think... They don't throw celebrities into the jungle I either. think they need to... Well, I, I think it's uh, depending what your uh, your crime. Uh, your crime is, because there's this federal this federal prison. Those are lo, la gente que hacen los números, who they, they roban pila de cuarto. Then they got rankers, bro. And then they got type of rankers type shit. Like, you know what I mean? But yo, That's to be honest, prison, <laughs> to be honest, I think I think they I think they need to go to some like Riker type of atmosphere where and and and, well, and go no and go into and go into they're, an, they're from New York, right? Maybe they yeah, go in there. and go to an atmosphere where there's people who you've locked up. Cause that's what I really want. Like you know what I mean? Like like I said, I'm not I'm not, yeah. I'm not a believer in yeah. for nine. Yeah. But I think you should be put in the jungle with some people that you put into the jungle, and see what it feels like now. Because you know you were an officer, you were yeah. serving and protecting, you know, and you put some people into the jungle. But now you disrespected your badge, you disrespected what NYPD stands for, and 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 I feel bad for all the other cops who are kind of taking this heat because exactly. at the end of the day, like it's not like um it's not we're saying like Richard Hall and what's the other thing I'm gonna find out the other guy's name. Um, we're not saying Eddie, um, Eddie Martin's a Richard Hall, like, you know what I mean? Like, yes, we can say it right now and some people are going to hear it, but at the end of the day, what's people going to remember? NYPD. Exactly. NYPD did this. Exactly. NYPD did that. Exactly. You know what I mean? And I feel bad for all those cops who are actually doing their job, who are actually serving and protecting, but now they have the stain on them of, uh, Eddie, Eddie Martin and Richard Hall. Exactly. And the sergeant who was covering up, and my thing is like, how many other cover-ups are there? You know what I mean? No, I have how, corruption going on. No, no, and up. seriously, how many other things have been covered up that we don't know, that hasn't been brought up to the public light? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's going to be endless, you know? But should it be, That's everything. That's you know everything. what I mean? But should it be that's endless, everything. you know what I mean? Like, with the you, you, you're, you know? you're actually the people who who we kind of give our safety to. We're kind of like, yo, listen, we we depend on you to keep us safe. Not exactly. Yeah. And, and for this to happen, like, how, how safe are how we? we? You know? And last but not least, um, damn, I forgot what I was about to say. I lost my train of thought on that one. Um, do you think that NYPD is going to bounce back from this? Do you think that NYPD somewhere, somehow is going to... Of course, man. Of course. How? Why? Why? Because at the end of the day, there has to be officers that represent who they, who they gave an oath to. They gave an oath to NYPD to, to serve and protect the community. There has to be officers that are going to respect that. You feel me? Like, I have I have friends that are officers, and they respect their badge. You we, you Yes, know? for sure. You know? We know plenty of them. And they do what they have to do. Yeah. They're going to end up bouncing back. They always do. Now you're going to see a couple cops doing a good thing, and then that's going to get erased. I feel like that's how, that's how it always is. Now, lastly... Do you feel safe when a cop has a body? It depends. It depends on what area I'm in. Like, like say, <laughs> let's say the community I live in. It's the cops I know. They just they, they just kind of like roam around. They never really pull people over. Mm -hmm. But then like in certain other areas, like say like if I'm in let's say Maplewood or if I'm in Union, cops are a little bit more aggressive there. They okay. want to pull more people over because. You're closer to certain towns like mm -hmm. Irvington, North. North. Okay. So I feel like in the certain certain areas you are, some. So you think the reputation of certain towns indicate how safe you feel when a cop passes by you? Yeah. I yeah. Can say that. Yeah. Sometimes because a cop is is more prone to find trouble around the urban area than in the suburbs. Okay. You know I mean? So they're gonna be a little more aggressive. I feel like I feel like they they kind of built that shield already to be more aggressive to kind of. Try to take control from the very start. You know what's crazy, yo? I, I've, I've never felt safe when a cop, like, passes by me or or if I'm driving and it's behind me. I've never felt, like, safe. I mean, like, you I'm, get that sense of fear when a cop behind you. Oh, shit, what I do? What I do? And you didn't even do nothing. Like, what the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> but, and, and, I, and I've never, and I've never, and, I've, and I don't know, like, and, and I think and I think it's sad the fact that I'm saying this, but I don't, I don't think I've ever felt, like, safe when a cop is around. Like, I just felt like a cop's around, I feel like there's trouble. I feel like there's, um, like, this, like, 
cloud of like darkness like hovering around me like when a cop's near me and 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 i'm pretty sure not that's not the feeling that cops want us to have like you know what i mean yeah no, no, of course i mean um, yeah it depends i mean i don't know man if you had a message for the nypd what would it be you guys gotta pick better people people who are gonna actually serve this community and not tarnish it the way that it's already been like that's terrible Regardless if they were cops or not, that's just terrible, and it happened under their supervision as police officers. I think they need to chill out. They need to stop. They need to stop with all this shit. Nobody's going to feel safe. Nobody's going to want to do anything that has to do with cops. There's going to be civilians versus officers all the time if this shit keeps going on. I think, I mean, you, I think you brought up a good point, like, you know, civilians versus officers, and, and I feel like that's not... It being, shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't yeah. be like that. Like, you know, it's a community thing. Like, you know, exactly. we, should, we should be together. And, like, listen, I don't know anything about walking around the streets of Newark or walking the streets of West Newark or walking the streets of New Bergen as an officer, putting my life on the line every day. I don't know nothing about that. But what I do know is that what an officer stands for is to serve and protect. You know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure that raping doesn't fall under that. Of course not. And, right. um, I don't know, I just think, um... The system itself needs to hold itself accountable. You know what I mean? Be be the officer who be like, yo, bro, this does not fly with me. We need to go back and we're going to talk about this. Like, you know what I mean? And handle it in-house if you have to. But make sure it's addressed. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Make, make, sure, make, sure, make sure that this, or oh, you did this always. No, 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 listen. Yeah, you cool. And yeah, me and you are homie. And yeah, me and you got our bags together. And me and you joined at the same time. But yo, listen, we don't do this. And this is what's going to happen now to you. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Make sure, like, they, they hold each other accountable for everything they do and understand the importance that they have as, as officers. You know what I mean? So, um, eso fue todo aquí en Alucruba Negro and shout out to the NYPD. We know some good, some of them are good out there.